another day another software engineer powered by ai this time it is called as autocode rover and it is doing similar thing which we saw in earlier software engineers based on ai such as swe agent devin and few others which i have covered on the channel so this autocode rover is taking up the github issues and producing the solutions as patches that is all it is doing at very high level if we go into the detail this autocode rover is an autonomous software engineer that resolves github issues in less than 10 minutes each outperforming developers who take an average of three days around it uses llms and debugging tools to identify patch locations efficiently and as per this github repo it resolves 16 percent of issues of swe bench which consists of uh, double two nine four github issues and around 22% of issues of SW Bench Lite, which consists of 300 GitHub issues. The tool employs program structure aware code and search and also improves repair rates with test suites via statistical fault localization. And as per this GitHub repo, it significantly advances AI software engineering practice. They also have given this um, diagram and also an archive paper which if you're interested, you can go through a lot of uh, stuff is there as how they created it and how they went about it. Also, it has been partially supported by uh, some of the Singapore authorities. So it is good to see some uh, project coming out of uh, that location. Now, let's get it installed on our local system and then see if it works or not. One thing I need to say up front that doesn't work with any open source local llm you have to have the gpt4 for it for what that means is that you would need an open ai api key which is a paid option and which you can obtain from platform.openai.com um, so you would need that api key if you are looking to run it locally so let's get started i will be using my linux system for this let me go to my linux system So this is my Linux system and I'm running Ubuntu 22.04. You don't really need uh, the GPU for this, but I would suggest that if you're running these AI powered applications, at least have one GPU. I have one GPU of around 16 GB of VRAM and my memory is 32 GB. So memory is crucial here. So need, you need to make sure that you have plenty of memory. So this is my Ubuntu. Now, one more thing you need to know about it is that you would need to clone the github repo of this project autocode rover so let's go back there to their repo scroll up click on this green button and then grab this url let's go back to our system let's clear the screen and get clone simply clone it somewhere uh, on your operating system let's wait for it to get cloned It will take too long now. But a big repo by the way. So that is done. Let's cd into that and do ls-ltr. So we have environment file and we have various Docker files here. So this is um, this runs through Docker. So make sure you also have Docker installed. I already have Docker. If you don't know how to install Docker, I have a few videos around that. So please search the channel. So you can see that my Docker version is. 25.03 so we have docker installed and you can see that when did we we did the lsltr we have a docker file here too this one so now we need to run this autocode rover in that docker image for that let me first clear my screen and then all you need to do is to build that um build and start the docker image for this so let me press enter here and this is going to take some time. So let's wait for it to finish. As you can see, it's still running, taking a bit of a time. So we just have to be patient around there. I've been waiting for the last around five, six minutes. 
at last at last it's done and it has created the image and also has exported the layers and everything and now let's run the acr or autocode rover let's wait for it to run and that is done and you can see that once we ran it because we have given it that dash it switch we are logged into that container itself Next step, we need to set up our OpenAI key. So make sure that you set it up like this, export space OpenAI underscore key is equal to, and just put your key here. Let me put my key and clear the screen. I have cleared the screen. Now let's cd to SW the branch directory. And here we need to set up the task to run in SW branch. And the way we set up the task is that we just put all the tasks in a task.txt file that is a requirement of this software like this and you can see that we are putting in this django double underscore django dash triple one double three into this task.txt so this task is from SWE bench SWE bench is a benchmark suite designed to evaluate the performance of software engineering tools tasks in SWE bench like this one django django triple one three refers to the specific benchmark within that suite often that is associated with particular software project such as django version 1.11.33 so this triple one three is primarily the version of that django and each task typically represents a standardized evaluation scenario or problem set used to assess the capabilities and effectiveness of that software engineering tool and there's a full list of tools on their github repo let me actually quickly take you there to show you the list of tasks so on their github repo this is all the tasks from swe bench you can also this is a light task not all of them here for, for the full list you would need to select this on the left also they have this vanilla light whatever you like you can select them but we are just going with this swe bench one okay so let's go back here and put our task into that task.txt file that we have done now we need to set up these tasks so we are already in this swe bench directory we need to call our activate swe bench so you can see in the parenthesis that sw bench conda environment is set and now let's run the setup.py with the sub file uh, task.txt and it is going to set up this task So you can see that it is setting it up so let's wait for it to finish task is set up and we see that we have these two lines appear so as long as you see these two lines everything is great if not then we would need to troubleshoot but this is pretty solid so it is quite good now so what we have done here is we have cloned the source code of the target project and we also have um, created conda environment for this task instance if you want to set up multiple tasks, you can just put multiple IDs in the tasks.txt as I showed you earlier. But for now, we will just check out the single task. Let me clear the screen. If you do ls here, so you will see that there's a directory called as testbed. Let's go to testbed ls, and this is the task which it has set up. Okay, let's go back in SWE bench let's clear the screen so now i'm going to run this task which we have just set up for that we would need to go to autocode rover directory in opt still in the same container let's activate the conda environment for autocode rover now there you go so you see in parenthesis that conda environment is activated and in order to run it you just simply need to run the python command which i'm going to show you now there you go so once you run it the output of this can be found in the output directory and so what that output will be it will be the patch generated for this django django triple one three the task and it will come with the date and time and then you can check out what is the solution of that target is so this is how you can run it and then you can have your own tasks and run through them so let me quickly run it it is running the task at the moment and it is running in the single process 
So let's wait for it to finish. Let me also show you in real time what this code, this um, task running is doing. It is just going through the issue and then just uh, validating it, uh, taking it out and then also checking out what is happening. So if I scroll above where I ran it, it did a lot of things here. So this is where we started it and then it is running the task. It is going through the role. So it is still running. There you go. So it has been created and this in the uh, predictions for this task have been created here. So first let me so first let me show you from the top what it did just the raw output logs. Um, of course it's not very well formatted so please bear with me. So you can see that it started with this system content that sort it's the software engineering maintaining a large project then HTTP it is just going uh, into the task what is happening I'm trying to write a binary field retrieve and it is just going through that and then it does a lot of things there um, it is also checking my cost of my so remember it could get very expensive very soon um, you know so beware there so this is a cost which I am incurring due to my API uh, anything for you guys so and then it is going through the code and checking out what the issue is and doing a lot of stuff and then there's a conversation round one with system and user which is your AI and the user so user and they are just talking so this agent which is auto code rover ACR is talking with the GPT-4 then just checking out the code making different iterations and then again raw model response checking the model's response again another round that Okay, so user is saying HTTP response doesn't handle memory view object and then it is saying I'm trying to write a binary field so it is automatically talking with that how autonomous this agent is then it is, it is saying based on the files classes how good is that so I would highly encourage you go through it you will get a lot more learning out of this and then it has finished it and if I print out the file which it has printed then let's see what it's in that file. So this is the file it has printed that this is the instance ID or the task which we set. This is GPT-4 was used and this is the model patch or the solution of it that this is what you need. This is a patched code there which you can check out. How good is that? This is right from the GitHub issue. So this is how you install it and this is how you run it on your own task from any GitHub issue or now of course you can replace your own with ease. Let me uh, before I finish the video let me take you back to their paper because I really like the way they have written the paper. This is what they have done here if you look at it. If you look at this architectural diagram this ACR or autocode rover works in two stages. First context retrieval second is patch generation. In context retrieval the large language model, which in this case is GPT-4, is provided with code search APIs to navigate the code base and collect a relevant context. And I also showed you that in that uh, our terminal. Then in the patch generation, the LLM tries to write a patch based on retrieve context as shown here by this diagram too. So there are two unique features of this autocode rover. First, code search APIs are program structure aware. So instead of searching over files by plain string matching, Autocode Rover searches for relevant code context like methods, classes in the abstract syntax tree. And then when a test suite is available, Autocode Rover can take advantage of test cases to achieve an even higher repair rate by performing statistical fault localization. So pretty cool, I should say. I think um, one of the best software engineer agent I have seen which is way more autonomous than the rest of the lot at the moment we don't know what would happen tomorrow but really hats off to all of these researchers they have done a wonderful job and I think um, Singapore Ministry of Education year 3 grant which they used I think it's very very well spent so hats off to you guys well done um, awesome work I will drop the link to their github repo in videos description 
please go through it let me know how you go and of course if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you are already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps thanks for watching